Hey there, awesome developers. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Harish Kumar. And today we are diving into an exciting topic that's going to level up your Laravel development using Laravel Clock. Laravel Clock is a powerful debugging and profiling tool for your Laravel applications. In this video, we will explore how to set up and make the most of Clock work to streamline your development process. So let's get started. Clockwork isn't just a debugging tool, it gives you incredible insights into your application's performance and helps you to catch bugs with ease. You may have tried this debug bar for your Laravel applications. It is also a fantastic debugging tool. It gives you everything you need for your Laravel application development. Now you may ask that, why we need Clockwork if we already have debug bar for Laravel? This debug bar is very useful if your entire application is on Laravel. I mean, your front-end and back-end both is running on Laravel. But in case of APIs, it is not very helpful. For example, let's say your front-end app is running on React or Vue.js framework and your APIs are on Laravel. So for that scenario, Clockwork is very good choice. Now let's try this. So to test this, I'm going to use this demo application. This demo code is for Vuex tutorial. In that tutorial, I have created the very basic e-commerce example to explain Vuex state management in Vue.js application. If you want to learn Vuex, I recommend you to watch that series also. This is the link for the playlist. Now let's set up this code and try the clockwork. So let's clone this project. So in the terminal, git clone now cd into that directory now if i say ls here we have two directories one for laravel api and one for vuex this laravel api is in the laravel version 6 and uh, i have already upgraded it so let's check out branch laravel 10 now in this branch this laravel api is in laravel version 10 next cd laravel api now here we will run composer install next cp dot env dot example to dot env and now we will run php artisan key generate our next step is to set up database i am going to use sqlite so here i'll say touch in the database directory database dot sqlite nice next let's open the dot env file and here i'll say database connection sq light and now we no longer need these credentials because we are using sq light so let's comment these it's done now save and quit next we are going to run php ads and migrate our migration is done i'm finally php artisan db see it and here we have demo products now our laravel api is ready our next step is to set up view app so in the next step here let's go to vuex app and here i'll run npm install It is installed. Now here I'll run 
npm run cell and in the laravel api here also i will run php artisan cell it's ready now let's see this in the browser here we have very basic app where we have list of products and in this product we can add to cart and we can add to cart from here also and we can remove items from the cart and we can clear all cart items so this is very basic project where the front end is in the Vue.js and the APIs are on Laravel framework now here the debug bar tool is not very helpful because this app is outside the laravel framework we are only consuming apis from laravel so for this scenario clockwork is very useful package so let's install this so let's scroll down to see the installation steps so here we will need to run composer required command so let's copy this and in the terminal let's stop this and here we will run composer required clockwork package i will also add a dev flag because the clockwork is a tool belt for development we only want it to be installed on development environment not in production so let's install it it's done now let's run php artisan sir our next step is to install a chrome extension so let's scroll down and here we have browser extension for chrome and firefox here i am using chrome so let's install this one and add to chrome it is installed so let's close this and here refresh let's inspect and now here you will see a option for clockwork and if we click this let's close this and here we have clockwork toolbar and in this side it gives the information about the request we made when we loaded this app the get request on api products and this is the controller responsible for this request on this side we can see the insights of the api request here we have tab for api performance it took 25 milliseconds for this request and 24 milliseconds took for app and 1 millisecond took for to fetch data from database and this is the timeline of the request and here is the models tab where we can see it has loaded app models product and retrieved 10 items in the database tab we can see the queries and this is the location where query is originated it gives you the detailed insights to your database queries so you can find out duplicate queries or n plus one issues which is very common when you are developing an application so it will help you to improve your query performance and here it will give you the cache details and now if i hit add to cart it has added the product in the cart and immediately we can notice a re post request right here in the http request history it uh, giving the information about post request on api cart and here is the controller the responsible for this request and now in the performance step we can see all the timeline and in the model it uh, giving the information that one cart item is created and in the database we can see it had made three queries two select queries and one insert queries similarly if i see this product and here we have detail for the another api request and you can also see that it is keeping the history of previous request also it is very helpful if you want to analyze your past HTTP requests, which is very helpful to fine tune your API performance. 
Clockwork also gives you a login feature. Let's see this as well. So let's open this project in the editor. And next, run PHP Artisan server. Now let's go to the app, HTTP controllers, APIs, product controllers. Now here in the index method, here let's say clock and here let's pass anything let's say testing now save it and in the browser refresh let's go to home now here in the apis now you can notice that we have a new tab log and here we can see the label debug and test from here now let's suppose you want to say clock and we can also pass helper like info and here let's say you want to log let's say first product and now go back refresh here we have quest for api products and in the log we can see label info and here we have product data and if i click this side from here we can also see more information like headers and middlewares. Similarly, if I copy this API path and open this in new tab, we get the old JSON data. Here if I open inspect tool, let's select the clockwork and here also we will get information about API request. Let's clear this, refresh again. And it has loaded the insights of this API request. This is all about Clockwork tool. Now remember that Clockwork is a debugging tool. It's for development purpose. It is not for your production environment. This is all in this video. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or need more guidance, drop a comment below. And don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe for more epic contents. Until next time, happy coding. See you in the next video.